Welcome back. We're in the kitchen with Chef Christopher, who's finishing up his um, short rib dish that we really made with like a lot of fresh ingredients, mm -hmm. and, and it's really there's not a lot of fuss to it, other than yep. just a, a being patient with the, the cooking process. Patient, and again, you know, if you have the slow cooker, like a crock pot or something, it's simple. Right, right, right. Okay, so for those of you just joining in, these are short ribs. We removed a lot of the excess fat, and then we seared them with uh, just a little bit of salt and pepper before. Mm -hmm. um, then we threw away the extra olive oil that we cooked it in. Uh -huh. And we threw all those vegetables in. We threw the vegetables into uh, and deglazed with a little bit of wine. Mm -hmm. Or and a lot of wine. Well, right. <laughs> and um, then we, uh, we let it kind of come to a, a simmer. Uh huh. And uh, then we Cover. covered it for two and a half hours and put it in the oven. Is that right? Yeah. And then uh, now I, this is a test. I yeah. forgot. <laughs> now we would. And then we strained it. Strained it. And then and it we reduce it up. down. And then here's, you know, some I already had cooked off. And like, for example, here, we can just put one nice one there. Are you surprised, frankly, that I remembered all of that? Yes, I am. I feel like I, you know, was, she just, I was a little. She wouldn't remember anything I said. You know, she just, uh, yeah, uh -huh. Okay. Should I be offended by that? Maybe no, just no, no, a little. Because no, no. I'd be too busy eating. I think that's. Right. <laughs> and so, then you know, this may be uh, a, a little thin. You can just reduce it a little more to okay. correct the seasoning with salt and pepper. And so, to to reduce it more, we're just going to evaporate it to over let the it. Stove. Let it stay hot. Uh huh. Okay. And you well, said you you serve this on Wednesdays. I think so. I okay. should know these things, shouldn't I? All right. It is your restaurant. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so here I just have some sauteed uh, wax beans, Brussels sprouts, French green beans. So. Do you like Brussels sprouts a lot, or do you just think that they, it works well with the dish? If uh, I like them a lot, and if you cook them fresh, just blanch them in a little so, uh, boiling salted water, not too much, and then saute them. I They're need to wonderful. try it because, quite honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Brussels sprouts, but with I feel lots like of maybe butter, I haven't so actually eaten the right kind. Well, this is the health show, my dear. Oh, olive I'm sorry. oil. <laughs> sorry, that's what I meant to say. With a lot of olive oil. No, I still don't like Brussels. I love the I love the sauce, but I don't like. Oh no. It's a texture thing for me. Can and then I just try the short ribs? Put oh, some salad sauce here. To die for though. My with gosh. Some olive oil, salt and pepper, and here we can just slice them. This could be a great summer dish, and it could be served just warm, and just place them. And we could take some of those vegetables and just toss in a little vinegar and olive oil. I think you plated this way too like dainty for me. I would have like my, I would have eaten the whole thing. <laughs> Well, we can put them together. Stephanie. First course, second course. I was thinking this whole thing's going on that plate. <laughs> so that's really simple. And then if you have leftover, that's really great. Just they'll they'll get kind of firm uh -huh. and solid. You just slice them thin, put them on a piece of toasted bread, oh. and warm it up in the oven. And you could even put a little salad with it and some sliced tomatoes. And what Let's a say we great have extra uh, wine great. reduction sauce. What oh, can we do with that? Oh, pork, go obviously. That would taste delicious. Pork, great with a steak. If you're sauteing a, a steak or grilling a steak, it's wonderful. Recipe online, CenoraLiving.com. Yes. Have Thanks a great for day. tuning in. We'll see you back here tomorrow.